So I'm back again today spreading slurry and uh, T7040. As you can see, the splash plate spreading away just nicely. I swiggled a wee bit because I fell asleep, but I'm not afraid to admit this. Um, currently spreading at three and a half kilometres an hour. Slurry's quite watery, so it's not that big an issue. Just with the amount of rain we've had, um, it is Scotland after all. <laughs> Going to risk it for a biscuit and open the window. Spreading quite nicely. Beautiful views. Bams in there. Because it goes from a 6 inch pipe to a 4 inch pipe, I believe that is why we're able to pump it as far. You know, because it takes a lot less pressure to pump through the 6 inch and then when it gets to the 4 inch pipe, it narrows it down and then sends it right up. Which I believe has the end result of nice high pressure which then enables us to put out quite a bit of slurry all at once. As you can see, some of our windows have had slurry spread on it, but that's just part of the job. Quite unfortunate. But, it'll get cleaned at some point and it'll be back to seeing properly again out the window. It looks worse than the camera, but I can see a wee bit better. As you can see, the fog's starting to roll in off the hills. It's quite funny how round about here there's it's quite nice soil, and then all of a sudden, just up over the back there, it turns into peat, and all it basically grows is moss, whins and some grass. It's quite funny how it just changes. Not all soils made the same, which is uh, something I wish folk understood. Not everywhere can grow your veg. That kind of grunts what sheep's for. Sheep and beef cattle that are hardy and they can stay out all winter on that stuff and just munch it away. Hardy. You'll no see many carrots planted up the top of the hills. I do mean certain types of breeds, because there are some softer ones. The ones that are genuinely meant for being out on these tough terrains. You know. Beautiful sunset coming in. And a bit dark. Work away a wee bit longer. Try and get a bit more out. It's amazing how much slurry you can put out with an umbilical because it's always pumping. Whereas to get the equivalent with a tanker it would take ages because you're constantly having to run back and forward filling up all the time. And I've seen in the comments somebody asked why not use a dribble bar. The simple answer to that is they're very expensive. Yeah, they might be better, but at the moment they're just too expensive for us. But one day, eventually, I hope we get something like that. Because, yes, they are better. It's just. Uh, Getting the funds for it, you know, but we'll get there one day. Can't buy everything at once. If you could, you're a millionaire, you know. 
one of the hangs. Folk were asking a wee bit more about the 7040. This is a 2008 plate. She's done just over 7,000 hours as well. Pretty sure the last bloke that had it chipped her because she's an absolute powerhouse. She just pulls like an absolute train. Never felt anything like it. Just power under the throttle. She'll just pull away, no baller. Absolutely mental. Just as we're coming up here to the top, sorry it's getting a bit darker, but it's just when I'm here. Up the top over there is where they used to quarry all the rock out that built our farm. Which I think's amazing, you know. Horse and carts dragged them down. They would chisel the stones out. Back when men were men and they built the farm. Bloody amazing. Absolutely amazing what folk used to do. Thanks for tuning in and I'll try and get a few more videos up of what happens on the farm and aye, I'll see you next time.